What's up YouTube? Uh, haven't made a video in a while. Um, I've been buying stuff online since going to places hasn't been an option uh, lately. Um, there's some thrift stores around me that are still op they're, they're open up, opening up now, but um, I've been having some pretty good luck buying stuff online. I've done about six or seven online auctions. Uh, I just unloaded this one. I figured I'd give y'all a look at what I got at this one. I uh, have my list here and I can show you spent $234.16 on 31 lots of stuff. Um, there's only like five things that I bought that were over $5 and one cent. So, um, yeah, I'll show you what I got, what I paid for it, and got to excuse my yard. I need to mow, but that's a different story. All right, we'll just start with the first box. Uh, I got a lot of these. I thought they were bigger. Um, the only reason I bid on them though is because nobody else was and a lot of this stuff that I got in here was I've got because nobody else was bidding on it so I went ahead and bid and this auction place um, only only starts off at a dollar so it's not too bad of a deal also got these these borders all these borders in here was one lot um, it's this this one right here I paid one dollar for it for that lot the glasses right here a total of six crystal glasses I paid one dollar for that lot so yeah a lot of this stuff I got really cheap so I mean I couldn't help from bidding on it um, there is some stuff I didn't know and I also got this set of wine glasses this is more for us though um, the last auction I went to I bought a wine rack and I bought these that go on that wine rack so that was five dollars and one cent move this one over this next one is I can get it opened up here. All right, this goes to a cappuccino machine. Um, this is called a daisy stripper. It's a food uh, vegetable pillar thing, and I paid three dollars and twenty-five cents for that. The daisy stripper. Um, cappuccino machine I have the rest of it in another thing and then I got a lot of these this is another one of those I got because it wasn't really high on the bids it's some of these crystal blocks with the etch stuff all these are the same well not all the same but they're all the crystal blocks that one has hot air balloons and birds this one says I love you or something like that yeah and this one is another I love you with like a rose they're kind of hard to see without being lit up but those, those I got pretty cheap too. Oh, those I got for $1.25. So yeah, the crystal blocks I got for $1.25. All right, next thing is uh, this old stereo. There's the speakers for it. This stuff's kind of dusty, but it's got, it's a GPX. I don't think it, 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 not the greatest brand, I don't think. I'm not sure I have to look at, look at it better. It has a turntable. Um, AM FM stereo dual cassette and a CD player I got this for my daughter um, she's got some cassettes and some CDs she wants to listen to she's getting all into that kind of thing now she's uh, 13 so yeah music's starting to become a thing for her uh, for that thing I paid five dollars and one cent for the stereo all right you can't you can kind of see this down here this bamboo tray my wife wanted it so she bid on some stuff too bamboo tray she got for one dollar and 25 cents all right next thing is these this is a murray dust stopper it's dingy and this was the same lot it's a ryobi uh, like a grass catcher for your lawnmower um i kind of looked these up these actually go even in used condition for about $40 I think I think I can probably get 30 or 40 out of this one too it's in really nice shape it's just a little dusty but they had it stored and for those I paid the Murray dust stopper bagging system everything I paid $1 so yeah I spent a $1 on quite a few things it adds up though uh, this is a lot of picture frames I'm not gonna unlock 
I wrap it all, it's just random picture frames. Some are still new in the package. Um, my wife wanted these, she's gonna try to sell these on Facebook. Um, I've got a pretty good deal on those too. For the picture frames, 20 new picture frames it was $1. So yeah, that was a pretty good deal. Uh, next is this thing, this Minn Kota. I think it has more information on the side maybe. It's a Minn Kota Endura 42 inch, 50 pound thrust. Yeah, it says Endura right there. Um, this and this was all of it together. The Minn Kota weed, Weedless Wedge 2. This was an extra blade. I looked these up. These sell for about $35, just free shipping, just for that blade. And then this, it's still, it's open box, but it's still brand new. They never used it. Still has all of the packaging. Can't really see it, but it's, I can see the, the other end of this, the other end of the packaging and the plastic still around the head of the, the end of the motor. And all the books are down there on the bottom with it. So for this, and considering I can sell this for about $35 free shipping, I paid a total of $36.56 for both of these together for, a, for the lot of these. Isn't too bad. I'll get my money back on this. And this thing I also looked up. I think I'm going to get close to $200 just for this, which will pay for a lot of everything I bought. All right, next thing, uh, this picture frame goes with the other ones. It was just too large to fit into the tote. So that's part of the $1 picture lot. Uh, let's see what I have here. Oh, I thought this was really cool. Uh, let's see. This is uh, Great Smoky Mountain. It's like a raised map. It's really cool. Um, I'll look these up. I've seen people selling these for about $30 out of the frame. This one's framed and matted. So hopefully I maybe could get a little more. It does have a little bit of damage there and there, but we'll see. And it's really cool. I didn't pay a whole lot. Let's see, Antiques, Great Smoky Mountain National Park. I paid $3.25. Well, the next thing, I think this is just a print. I don't think this one's worth a whole lot. Um, it does have a, name on it but it's just a print um i got this one because it was only going for i think a dollar yeah so this one the cactus bernard frame wall art i bought it for a dollar i bid on it because it was nobody else was bidding on it i figured i could put it up there for like 30 bucks and maybe somebody will buy it we'll see not i'll donate it it was only a dollar um i'll get to these two things first now, when I, when I bid on these, they didn't show what the cases were. But these are actually Pelican cases. This is a genuine Pelican case. Um, this one is called the Wave. It's the user manual. I don't know exactly what it does. It's some kind of alarm system. This thing's attached to the top. I didn't see any soles on these. I did look it up. It has some kind of motion sensor thing and all kinds of stuff but I seen somebody selling just this piece for about a hundred and then somebody's selling parts of one in the case but it didn't have all this stuff in it for like a little over a hundred I believe so I went ahead and bid on it I bid a little bit more than I wanted to but I got it for $16.51 which if anything now that I know what the case is I can make my money back just on the case if I have to I can take all this out of here Yeah, so it's a nice case, it's a little dusty. And then this one is also, oh, kind of heavy. It's also a Pelican Pro case. It's a large case, I mean larger than the other one. And it is a Kodak, I don't know if I want to take this all out of here. It is, uh, that's some kind of film processor I believe it says film scanner and I looked it up I didn't find I found somebody selling the case to this thing like the out, outer case all taken apart for almost a hundred dollars there, there was no sold on it though there was a couple of these listed for like 18 to 20 dollars a piece so 
Hopefully I can make my money back just on those if I have to. I would like to sell it as a set though. <laughs> kind of get an idea of what it says on this thing. Yeah, it's a Kodak Professional RFS 2035 Plus film scanner. And it says EPS lab, whatever that means. I don't know if this is like one of those ones they have set up at a place to process film at like they used to have or something i'm not sure but once again i can make my money on the case if i have to i can't get that thing closed and for that i paid one dollar so there it goes all right next next is these this is stuff my wife wanted, so she put on it. It's a set of five of these plates, the smaller plates, and there's larger plates that match those, and then there's bowls that match those. And there was a set of five, and then there was a set of, I think, six extras. The set of uh, 15 pieces, five person setting. Um, this set is called Boho Boutique Stoneware, and I paid $12.50 for those. And the six replacement pieces, which was like three of the big plates and two of the smaller ones, and then like a bowl or something, paid $1.25 for those. I could actually probably sell these. I might even sell the replacements anyway, and probably get a good bit, get a good bit of money out of them for what I paid. And then also, she got a set of these. They're like little quiche dishes. There's two of them. There's one in here and one here that are exactly the same. Um, I get this one out without messing something up. Yeah. They're kind of cool. But um, those, the ruffled bakeware, I paid $1.25 for those. That wasn't bad. There's also a couple of things I had to stuff in this box. These are two things that go to wax warmers. Those are in there. I have the wax warmers too. I'll show you those in a minute. All right. This wicker basket. My wife wanted this also for herself. Uh, it's probably not the wicker basket. She's gonna use it for laundry basket. Okay, so the wicker laundry basket was dollar fifty. That wasn't bad. Of course, I loaded some stuff up into it. Oh, uh, this is another part of the picture frames. This is a Parma wine decanter. Uh, I don't know, 68 ounces it says, so it's kind of large. Um, more parts of the picture frames. That and this were in the same lot, if I can get it out of here. Okay. This is an old Jack Daniels decanter. It's rather large, you can see. So both of these were in the same lot. And I remember how much I spent on these. It was $8, I believe. It is right here. Two decanters, Parma Wine and Jack Daniels. $8 and one cent. So I spent up a little bit on those. I figured they're worth about $20 a piece. Probably shouldn't have spent so much on them, but I thought they were cool. Uh, then the rest of this stuff is, oh, this is a glass blender thing with a lid. You can see it in there, sort of. There we go. Yeah, it's a glass blender part. I'll show you the rest of that in a minute. Here are the wax warmers. My wife loves this one. It has birds on it. She likes bird stuff. I don't know what brand it is. But she got that one. And then there's another one in here. My packing's not that great, but see this was like a yeah, deers and rabbits. Some birds. Rim ports or something. I don't know. 
Uh, there's one more that's just stainless and black. I'll show you that too. I'll go ahead and show you what, I, what we spent on those. <clears throat> Three candle potpourri warmers. And I'm pretty sure they're all candle warmers. They just had them listed that way. Spent $1.25 on those. So that, that was cool. That one. Uh, this next box is a lot of vintage kitchen stuff, pretty much. Um, some of that got really cheap. That's the only reason I bought it. I'll make a few dollars off of it. Let's start with this one. This is a rival, I believe, but it's a meat slicer. Yeah, it's a foldable meat slicer. And I paid for it. There we go, rival fold up slicer. I paid $2.47 for it. Next is Uh, rival ice crusher and this was in a lot with some other stuff or one other thing I believe this was in a lot with the food processor but the food processor is in this box so I'll show you, go ahead and show you the price I also got a Sunbeam Oscar food processor with this and I paid $1.25 for both of those um, I'll show you the other one it's in this box in a minute um, then this thing, it is, I think, I believe the brand is Chilton. Yeah, it says Chilton on the thing, on the plug. It's a vintage pot of some sort. I couldn't really find anything about that. This goes with the, um, blender the top half I showed you the bottom half is in here but I'll go ahead and show you the price on that also yeah Osterizer dual range blender and the Chilton aluminum model whatever um, I paid two dollars and 25 cents for those I'll, like I said I'll show you the other rest of the lot in a second all right next is these are liners for these teak and there's four of them are teak canisters um, they have all the lids they're all there look in pretty good shape they don't really have a brand on them um, they're dusty and they need to be wiped down a little bit but they're pretty cool looking there's four of them total and there's a lid to that one like I said these are the liners for those which need to be cleaned out also and I looked some of those up. There's some teak wood stuff on there selling for pretty good. So I paid up a little bit for these. Um, 60s mid-century modern teak wood canisters with lids. And they were $13. So I think I could probably get like $100 for those. We'll see though. This thing was an oddball thing. If you have any idea what it is, feel free to let me know. Says he clips on the handle it mounts to a table and this handle spins i don't know if i do this with one hand you spin the handle and this thing spins it seems to work pretty good and i looked up stuff made by eclipse before i bid on it it has a patent number patent january 14th i think that says 1902 I don't know but I did not know what it was and when I see something I don't know what it is it has a wooden handle I have to I have to get it just so I can figure out what it is um, the auction people also did not know what it is and it was listed under all right this one was listed as bidding open details coming soon and it didn't really ever have a description they never put the details on there I guess they couldn't figure out what it was either I bought it for four dollars and fifty cents but I had to. I had to know what it is. I'm going to do some research on it. I'll try to figure this thing out. Um, I know they made, this company Eclipse made meat grinders and uh, table mounted hand crank grinders and all sorts of things like that. So yeah, I will try to figure out what that is and I'll let you know if I do. All right, this is the Krupp's uh, cappuccino maker. And here's the, the parts, they need to be cleaned, but 
there's a couple of spare parts with it too um i bought that i'm probably just going to part it part it out it wasn't a whole lot yeah primo cappuccino express machine i bought it for a dollar 25. i figured i could part it out and make some money off money off of that now the last thing in this box is this. I spent more money on this than I spent on anything else at the auction. It's an old Elkhart Brass Manufacturing Company, an old fire extinguisher. It's pretty cool. It has a number on there, but it's kind of hard to see. 552859, I believe. I don't know. But I mean, it's got some patina on it, but other than that, hose is still there. It's not breaking off. Looks like it's in pretty good shape otherwise. No dents, no cracks. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool. And for that, that was the first thing I did on this auction when I got started. And I went up to $46.01 to win it. I figured it's probably worth at least at least 150. Maybe maybe more. I don't know. I have to look into it a little bit more. Um, they're quite collectible. So hopefully, hopefully it works out for me. All right, I'm gonna open this next box and that'll be all of it. All right, so this is the last box. First, we got this Hamilton Drinkmaster. Um, my wife actually wanted this, so she bought it. Uh, I think we paid a little bit for it, but not too much. Hamilton Drinkmaster paid $5 for it. It's not too bad. Um, here is the rest of the food processor. Get the time for it. It's a little dirty. It's not all there, but I'm probably going to part it out. And I showed you what I paid for that. I got that for the ice crusher. I think it was a dollar or two. Um, here's the rest of the blender. I showed you all that also. The top to it I have in the other basket and. Um, it was with the the Chilton, the yellow plug-in pot. And then here is the other um, candle, or not candle, the wax melter thing that was in the dollar twenty-five lot for three. And it is aroma. Oh, it's an electric potpourri pot, so it is for potpourri. The other two are candle warmers. This is potpourri. So that was one of the three dollar 25 ones and then this thing i picked one of these up before but it was missing pieces i think i actually ended up donating it because i didn't want to mess with parting it out for some reason but this one is all here the cord is inside there oh. the cord is inside the top part but there's the top piece there's the bottom piece, and it is Sunbeam Coffee Master C30A. Alright, this is the Sunbeam Vintage Quick Drip Double Pot, whatever. I paid $1 for it, so it was, it's another one of the cheap ones. And then the last thing I got is this thing. The cords are tangled up on this. This is a Sony compact disc uh, four times over sampling digital filter don't know what that means exactly um, I got this it's dusty but it's not in bad shape and then also got this one the cords are kind of tangled up so I'm taking them out one other time a Sanyo stereo cassette deck or s30 I don't think these are worth a ton but not in too bad of shape. And I paid <laughs> that sampling and signing you know, I paid three dollars and twenty-five cents for that. And that's my total. That's everything. So I got some pretty good stuff. Bought some stuff for our own selves. And I think it worked out pretty good. Um, like I said this is about the sixth or seventh one I've gone to since I started doing online auctions and I'm actually kind of liking it. Um, 
get some pretty good stuff and kind of see what I'm getting and look it up before I actually bid on it. So it's not too bad. Um, I mean, there's a couple things I get that's not really worth getting. And then that's just part of the process though. But I usually don't find stuff like this at a thrift store. So it's pretty cool. Well, that's it. Um, try to keep y'all more updated, make some more videos, maybe do some more things on here. Um, try to get back into it. All right. Well, thank y'all for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks.